Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to be a little bit rich in Adopt Me. I'm not exactly that rich. My best pet's a rideable turtle. But you know, that's what we basically aim for. We aim for legendaries, maybe make tons of good neons, mega neons. You know, we want to get tons of rare items. Let's say you may want to get a bandicoot from the Aussie egg because you know the Aussie egg's going soon you never know you want to get tons of good things you want to be like one of those youtubers probably with like the best inventory out there so I'm gonna be giving you some tips and I'm not saying this a hundred percent works but it works for me and these are like four tips I can think of from my head and yeah you know I hope this helps so let's get straight into the video so the first one um, which is I feel very useful is to always buy raw legs so you know maybe you're someone out there who always buys cracked eggs you know if you save up for a raw leg you could probably get a higher chance of a legendary and also in the raw legs I think the highest percentage for something you can get is an ultra rare as well so you know it's a very good thing uh, the royal egg so i recommend to get a royal egg and also obviously you know if you want to get a kangaroo for example because right now we have the aussie eggs you can just get the aussie eggs or just any eggs out of the gumball machine uh, but if you really want like some unicorns or dragons i recommend to just buy some royal eggs um and maybe you could probably get some better trays out of that i know i saw someone who wanted a neon unicorn for like a neon golden rat one day uh, so you know you could get really good trades out of that so my second tip is a pretty I guess hard but also good one is a common basically to common to legendary challenge and why I'm saying this one is because this person I think desperately wanted a rideable bandicoot or a ride potion I had a rideable bandicoot and I actually got traded a rideable bandicoot, a koala and something else for my neon cat so you know we'll get to you know making neons and that in a minute but for my rideable bandicoot I got my rideable panda which I still have now and you know obviously it's a really good trade and you know like I probably even if that was me I may not have even given my panda away for a bandicoot because you know obviously I really do love um, you know my panda and everything so yeah but you know the next tip I'm gonna be giving you is to make neons because you know obviously as I said uh, for my neon cat I got a rideable bandicoot koala and something else and it was a really good trade so you know if you have four of the same pet maybe if you have like four dogs and you don't really want them anymore you could easily make a neon because commons are the easiest to fully grow and after that maybe you could even get your neon full grown and then trade it for something really good like an ultra rare or anything so you know that's obviously why we have like mega neon collectors or just neon collectors nowadays as well because tons of people know that you know if like if it was just a normal dog you would probably get something really bad from it but because it's a neon dog or even if it's mega neon you know some people you know want you know you'll get some good things out of that and i know today actually i was seeing what people would trade for a unicorn and i may be doing a video about that and you know obviously this person had a mega neon dog which was rideable and i put my unicorn in and she said add and you know i understand that you know it's a mega neon dog and it's also rideable and maybe my unicorn was normal but the thing is is that that's 16 dogs it's only commons you know and you know i feel like a mega neon dog uh, like because I'm trying to make one as well uh, is like I reckon the best you should be able to get is like two ultra rares I don't think even if it's rideable or anything deserves a legendary I do have a mega neon monkey which is rideable so I feel like that deserves a legendary because monkeys are rare but you know a mega neon dog I don't feel like that's a hundred percent worth a legendary I f you know because she was telling me to add and you know I added my turtle and that's when she accepted so you know like I don't think it deserves that much I feel 
But finally, the last tip I'm going to be giving you is to buy gifts. And what I mean by that is that, you know, obviously we have um, gifts near the school part, I'll say. And, you know, obviously if you get a legendary, you could get a banana cart, a train or a hoverboard. You know, some people may desperately want them and they'll give you some good stuff for them. And they may even overpay because I know for a fact I saw this person trade the train or, or hoverboard or something and they got a legendary for that and obviously I feel like that's a little bit overpaying because you know even though the trains and all that they're legendary like they're not a proper pet and you're, you're maybe not gonna use them half the time you know like you would with your pets uh, so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video these were some tips to maybe help you become a little bit richer in adopt me They've certainly helped me, as I've said, I've traded my rideable bandicoot for a rideable panda. That's pretty much overpaying, I feel. Uh, because, you know, pandas even cost Robux, and I didn't even have to pay Robux to get my bandicoot rideable in the first place, you know. Because I got it traded for my neon cat. Uh, so, you know, you can get so many good things if you just work hard, you know, and if you make tons of neons and maybe mega neons and tons of stuff. So yeah, as I said, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Also, I will possibly be doing some really good videos and hopefully daily uploads. But anyways, goodbye!